Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is June 27th, 2017. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'm making a pretty big discovery here with something that NASA is trying to hide from us with just a brief look at this stereo imaging coming from Stereo Head Core 2. If you blink your eye, you miss it. Now this piece of footage was taken on June 22nd, 2017 at 1209.15. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at right here is another patch. Another patch of NASA trying to hide something from us. Just the other day, I published a video showing clearly hours, six hours of time missing from stereo footage. Where did it go? What happened to it? Why is it missing? Well, folks, listen, here's the bottom line. Whether you want to believe it or not, they're hiding things from us. They do slip up. You have to remember something. These little nerds at NASA, these little boys in blue, they're obviously very busy at, you know, doing their job. And their job now is hiding everything that we see around the sun. You know, they just can't take all of this down and say, oh, it's broken. So, you know, what I've been doing lately, well, wait a minute, let me back that up. I'm not even going to divulge what I've been doing. I don't even want that information out there. So let's just get back to this, this portion of the video. I don't want to give my secrets away, but what we're looking at right here, I noticed this in one frame, one frame out of, let's see, 192. I noticed this whizzing by. Now, let me show you something here real quick. I'm just going to pan down here so I can step this forward and backwards. If you step this forward, one frame, it's gone. Click it into reverse, it's back. Go back one frame, it's gone. Okay, so these are the games that they play. But I was able to capture it because like I've said before, and I've said many, many times, I've been looking at this imaging, Stereo, Sechi, Lasco, Soho, the Coronagraphs. I, I've been looking at this, this material for years. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom into this because you think, oh, okay, well, you know what? That's not anything. Well, let me just show you exactly what it is. We're going to blow this up all the way. Give me a minute and I'll get this over here for you. And I'm going to show you the little pixelized patch where they tried to hide this object. Okay. Now, I hope you can all see this clearly. There's a square, a perfect square right there. Once again, it's the only square on the entire screen, on this entire image, one square, partially pixelized, but they didn't do a good job again because I caught them again. And this is what I look for, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking for things like this. Well, you say to yourself, okay, well, that doesn't look like much, Scott. Looks like a couple of pieces of bent light, partially pixelized, but I hope you can see that square. That square is perfect. So I took a screenshot of this and this is where my little investigation goes further. So let's get out of this full screen mode. Let's shrink this screen down a little bit more. Okay. So if you let this play, which I'm not going to bore you with that, because this is only one day, just one day of footage zipping by on the stereo ahead core two. This object right here, it comes into view and it's gone in a split second. If you're not watching this very closely, 
well, you'll miss it. And frankly, that's what they hope. If you're looking at this, they hope you miss it. Then you say to yourself, okay, well, what is this? Well, let's just take a look. Let's open up some imaging here. Let's see what we got. Okay, now, this is just the screen capture of what I just showed you. Now, I hope you can clearly see this square. You didn't do a good job here, NASA boys. You didn't do a good job at all. Okay, so you look at this and you say, okay, well, you know, that's blurry. What the hell is that? Okay, whatever. Let's get to the point. So let's start to darken this up a little bit. Now, the little square pixelized object that they were trying to hide. See that 90 degree angle right there? Right here. That shows you that they were trying to pixelize this image. Right there. They didn't do a good job. Let's take a look at the next photograph. Now, I am manipulating the photograph. Yes, I am manipulating the photograph because I am trying to find out what is under this pixelized square. What are they trying to hide under this damn square? Once again, you can see right here, 90 degree angle, flat edges, right there. I hope you can see that. There it is. Here's your 90 degree angle. 90 degree angles don't exist in outer space, ladies and gentlemen. We all know that. Let's take a look at this light source. What's going on here? What is all this? I've never seen anything like that whipping by on any stereo imaging. It's not a comet, it's not a meteor, it's not a UFO, but what it looks like, it's starting to show me exactly what it is. Now I can clearly see the round object, but we're not finished. We're not finished by any means. If you look right here, folks, you can start to see the round shape. Let your eyes center in on this shape right here. Once again, even though it's pixelized a little bit, you can clearly see this is beginning to form a round object. Brown dwarf, baby. Plasma, ejection. This is definitely something going on on this, this substellar object. Now we darkened it up a little bit. It's a little bit more. Now, even though you can clearly see the, uh, the 90 degree angle over here in the corner, they didn't do a good job. Now you're starting to see this object form even better. That's what they're trying to hide. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. Very, very hard to disguise spherical objects with square pixels. We're going to go to the next photo. Okay. Now, just like the title says, there's no hiding it now. No matter what they do, they're not going to be able to hide this. So, once again, looking at this object, you can see it's clearly round. It's not a planet. It's not Jupiter. It's not Saturn. That's our planet X. That's one of them. You know, ladies and gentlemen, our physicist has said over and over again that we are not tracking one object. We're not tracking one object named Nibiru. We're tracking multiple objects. Multiple. This right here, this shows all the signatures of a brown dwarf star. We've already told you that these brown dwarfs, they do have the ability, according to Harvard scientists and astronomers and astrophysicists, that if they do find themselves a host, a host star, 
They can regenerate. This is a possibility right here. This may be what is happening. It's right near the sun. You can see it. Some of you may not have that type of vision where you can pick things out. My vision's very, very good. I can see this object. I hope you can too. If you shrink it down a little bit, you can start to see the clear shape. Very interesting. Now, this is a technique called solarizing. That's exactly what I did. I solarized this photograph. And you could see, this is the heat signature right here. So there's something going on, uh, maybe a plasma ejection of some kind, a uh, very, very high heat temperature right here. And then you could start to see the pixelization kind of goes away. And what we're seeing here, possible gas cloud formations all around this object, that would definitely insignify the presence of a brown dwarf. Whether the debunkers, the debunkers want to believe it, hey, you know what? Have at it. Debunk your ass off. It's clear as a bell. I'm sure they'll have a field day with this, but who cares? Now, all of the gamma has been taken out of this photograph. And I wanted to see what this heat signature is here because this is what's being identified right there. Oh, you want to take a closer look at it? So do I. Let's look at this. Looks like a lot of gaseous cloud cover and some type of a massive heat signature here and here. Pretty interesting. So once again, you know, they try to they try to hide something from us, but it's not working. It's not working with me because I'll pick these objects out and I will find them. Now, the reason why this may possibly be distorted a little bit, well, number one, they pixelize the living hell out of this photograph. You can clearly see heat signatures right here and right here. There is definitely something going on on this dwarf star. All of the rest that you see here is probably gas discharges all around this planet. You know, folks, these brown dwarf stars are not going to be perfectly round, visible objects. They have a lot going on around them. Just like the video I showed you yesterday, we see that object out there. Uh, it seems to be kind of in orbit around and in front of Saturn. Clear as a bell, once again. Debunkers, have a field day with it. You're not going to disprove it. I don't care what you say. And frankly, neither does anybody else. But once again, we can see this object. No matter how bad NASA tried to pixelize it and hide it, the truth is staring you in the face. You know, and after learning a lot from our physicist and listening to what these uh, these Harvard scientists had to say about their discoveries with brown dwarf stars being able to regenerate once they have a host star making that connection. Something, something is going on with this brown dwarf star. And that's exactly what this is. Another, uh, you know, another amazing discovery. I mean, you know, it's cut and dry, folks. We have a lot of these objects, I believe, and so does our physicist. We truly believe that there are several of these objects around our sun. 
We see a lot of problems with our son. A lot. You know, over the past week, we've seen a tremendous increase in earthquake activity and volcanic activity. Once again, weather around the world, just absolutely insane. And now, the devastating threat of extreme temperatures. Chihuahua, Mexico. Chihuahua, Mexico topped off, I believe it was yesterday, at 126 degrees Fahrenheit. The people out in the southwestern part of the United States are cooking like they are in a microwave. Things are just melting at extreme temperatures well over 100, 110, 115, 120 degrees. And who are the idiots calling for an ice age? Really? What type of material are you reading? Step outside. Make some observations. Don't try to spread disinformation because that's exactly what you're doing. Grand solar minimum? Nah, I don't think so. There's no evidence of it. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the reports that were put out pertaining to this grand solar minimum, where does the information come from? Ha! It comes from the government. So the government's not going to lie. They're not going to skew the information to make you believe something. They do it all the time. Once again, big discovery. This object is there. I spotted it. You do a little homework. You take a look at the pictures. And then you know it's just there. And just with a blink of an eye, it's gone. But I saw it, and I knew what I saw that they left in the photograph that was shining through were these heat signatures right here. You didn't do a good enough job, NASA boys. But that's okay. We don't need you guys anyways. Let's see if we got another picture here. Yeah, I, took, I put this one into a blue hue. And once again, you can see it. Clear as a bell. Heat signature, white. Look at that. But that's about as hot as you're going to get there. Here's your object. Perfectly round, even though it's pixelated. Definitely seems to be a lot of gas, dust, debris, shrouding this object. My belief, definitely a brown dwarf star. And right near our sun. Here, I just darkened it up a little bit more. Once again, there you go, folks. No hiding it now. Right here. If you pay very close attention, you'll see these pixelized squares forming the spherical shape. So you ask yourself, how's that possible? Well, if you know anything about digital photography or this type of digital scamming that NASA is doing, you can clearly see they're trying to hide it. They tried to pixelize it. And they thought because this, this, this glint of this heat signature would zip by in one frame so fast that the human eye wouldn't see it. But I'm a Planet X researcher. I look for these things. Been looking for these things for a long time. That's definitely one of our brown dwarf stars. Now, this is another, another gamma photograph. Look at this. Everything else gone. 
Definitely looks like some, you know, gaseous discharges here and a pretty massive heat signature right here. Does anybody else have a better explanation for what I'm showing you? Probably not. The debunkers, they'll just make something up. They'll just make something up to make themselves sound completely foolish. And no one listens to you. No one listens to you at all. The only people that do listen to you are your own kind. And the rest of the world, we're not your kind. We're looking for the truth. We want to find out what is happening in our solar system. And I think now we all have a pretty good idea. So folks, if you want to investigate this yourself, you can clearly see, let me just adjust this for you. You can see this is on the stereo imaging, stereo ahead, core two, date the 22nd of June, 2017. There you go. There you go. There's your time stamp right there. If you blink, you miss it. But you can see they tried to pixelate it. It didn't work. Once again, the Nibiru channel, Planet X News, we're finding the breaking information just about each and every day. And in a very short amount of time, our physicist is going to be here in the States and we're going to go to work full time, probably about 16 hours a day. We're going to do as much as we possibly can. And once again, we're going to make an attempt to blow the lid off of this and bring the truth to the entire world because we deserve it as human beings. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru channel. Thank you for watching.